Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is a big milestone video. I'm capturing it on camera and documenting my life. I witnessed a Kobe car accident March 11th, 2020. And this is the first time I actually went to purchase something. And it is June 29th. 2020. This is the first time since I got a drink from the accident in the quarantine period. Look at it. I got it. Fat straw. Um, I got a bubble tea, a chai bubble tea with tapioca in it and it was the same drink I got when we witnessed the accident with my support provider Jenny. I posted a picture on Facebook and had like a picture of me like holding a drink and she saw the post like 10 minutes later and she said excellent looks yummy and it was a big milestone that i purchased something and it felt like normal it's been almost four months since the accident and i feel fine i don't have any ptsd thoughts only just about touching a colgi now but I'm just so happy that I did this and I did this alone. I didn't go with Jenny, but she knew um, that I was going to at some point go alone. And I felt fine. I had no fear, I had no anxiety, I had no chest pains. It was amazing. I can't even describe the feeling. I felt so calm and at peace. And it's a miracle how I worked through this by myself and I'm just so happy. It took a lot of courage to um, heal from this and a lot of time, but I did all the steps to heal myself by myself and oh my gosh, I'm just so happy that I went through this alone and with Jenny and my family. Um, but most importantly, I've done this by myself. Like 90% of this grieving process I did by myself and I'm just so happy that I can go back to the shop and just get a bubble tea and it felt like normal nothing felt off nothing felt weird about the situation but I'm happy I did it and I had nothing going on and I said why not and I did it I'm gonna post this on Friday um July 3rd but I just wanted to just capture this moment because it felt the same even before I witnessed the accident. I'm so sad about it, but it's not like, it's not dragging on me. I just think about it as like a tiny thought and it just goes out in my brain. But, oh my gosh, one day I might go with Jenny again so we can experience it together. But it was a bigger milestone to experience this by, by myself. And I'm just so independent to just do this by myself. And again, no negative thoughts, no racing heartbeat. It felt the same. But with like the quarantine happening, we had to order outside, outside the window and wait for drinks outside. So we didn't go in because of the virus is happening still. But let me show you guys how I enjoy this now. Ten out of ten. I'm chewing on the tapioca balls, but I'm so happy and it's hard that I had to witness it because it was unexpected, the accident, but I'm just so proud that my body did it and I know I can go through it again. Um, but I don't want to, but I know, like, I feel a lot better now. And this is the first drink ever from the bubble tea place that we witnessed the accident at. A little cafe. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad I documented this journey. And I got to show you my first bubble tea since there. So I hope everyone has a great day and talk to you guys later.